Would you like a backlink from Wikipedia, The Washington Post, BBC? Or would you like to buy a domain that still receives traffic? Then you might want to watch this video. What's up SEO hustlers? Welcome back to our channel where we help you to make money online from SEO. In this video, I will show you how to find high quality backlinks in a matter of minutes through expired domains. I will show you how to find and buy expired domains with high quality backlinks or even in some cases still receive traffic. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Expired domains are domains that have been registered by individuals, businesses or organizations, but they haven't been renewed after the contract ends or they are deliberately terminated, which means that they are available for re-registration again, which means for us. Now, the reason that expired domains are so interesting is because in some cases, as you can see from this picture, they still receive backlinks from other websites. Um, and if you buy an expired domain and you're redirected to your own website, you can pass on that link equity uh, and therefore increase your website authority, which is a direct ranking factor. So that means that you increase your visibility within search engines and ultimately receive more traffic. Now, there are several places where you can buy expired domains, but I'm going to show you one of the biggest marketplaces, biggest search engines that has integrations with all kinds of SEO metrics that we are going to show you in this video, which is expireddomains.net. And best of all, this tool is 100% free to use. And what you can see here is a list of all expired uh, domains from with different extensions. So for example, .com or .net or .org, but also some CCTLD for specific countries. Um, so let's go to the .com section and you can um, go to the latest one from uh, September, or you can just click on everything and you get a list of all the domain names that have been dropped and are either available for registration or have already be, been uh, registered because there's so much value into getting these uh, domains. Now, first of all, we're going to the column manager to have and get the right insights. Um, so basically you can delete everything that is in there and I'm going to show you um, the columns that we actually need and that can give us a lot of insight into the value of a uh, domain. So we are going to click on um, SEM Rush, and we can remove rank and cost. And we are going to add Majestic General. And we're only going to keep Citation and Trust Flow, um, and maybe the Trust Ratio as well. And um, the rest can be gone, except for um, Domain Pop. So that's the amount of referring domains. Um, Click on save changes and go back to the list. So a quick explanation of these columns is that uh, SEM keywords is showing us the amount of keywords uh, for which this expired domain is still ranking. Um, SEM rush traffic means that the domain is still receiving traffic from those keywords. So there's a really interesting columns to have in your um, overview because you want to filter on the statistics. Uh, furthermore, we have citation flow, which says something about how influential uh, a URL is based on how many uh, backlinks it receives. And the trust flow says something about how trustworthy a website is by uh, looking at the quality and the topics of those backlinks. Um, then we have uh, trust ratio, which is basically the uh, citation flow divided by the trust flow. And you want them to be like a bit equal um, and not too high, usually like around one. And finally, we, we just want to know how many uh, unique domains are linking to uh, this expired domain. So usually I uh, use these five or six columns in order to estimate the value of these uh, domains and to make decisions uh, based on that. Now let's go to the actual fun stuff and show you where you can find the golden nuggets. And um, you can filter out some of these domains because we have like millions listed here and we only want to show uh, and see the right ones. So if you click on filter um, and you, you have like four tabs 
And there's even a tab for SEO, which is very useful. Uh, and a tab for Majestic, which I will talk about later. But here you can see that you can even set a minimum of Wikipedia links that is still linking to this expired domain. So that's super awesome. So let's try to find uh, domains that have a link from Wikipedia. And let's say you have a website about dogs. So let's see if there's an actual relevant expired domain that we can buy. Now here we can see that we found 13 domains that still have a link from Wikipedia. So let's actually uh, check one. Um, so as you can see, the stats are not very impressive, but I'm just going to uh, Google for one and see if it turns up with any interesting findings. So if you don't have like a paid backlink checker, just Google for the, the term and see if Wikipedia is turning up. Well, there you have it, a Wikipedia page. Uh, let's visit it and let's actually see if our backlink is still in place. So what we found is that it, this uh, Wikipedia page is about the Irish soft-coded Wheaton Terrier. Um, if, we, if we would look in the source code and look for the domain, we can see that this uh, backlink is still intact. This backlink is still live. Uh, it is a nofollow link. However, like backlinks from Wikipedia is definitely a must have if you want like a diverse backlink profile. So if you would have like um, a blog around dogs or a web shop with all, all kind of dog related stuff, then this domain is an excellent one that you could buy and redirect to your own website in order to get a diverse link profile and to get that backlink from Wikipedia. All right, let's do another one. Let's say you're into drinking wine and you want to start a web shop or a blog and you need some backlinks. Um, let's look for domains that have a backlink from Wikipedia containing the word wine. All right, there we have it, eight domains that still receive a backlink from Wikipedia. So let's actually check uh, one out and let's Google for uh, this domain and see if it's still popping up on a Wikipedia itself. So yeah, here we have the Wikipedia page. And basically this was an American female winemaker and this page is about her. And if we would look in the source code, we can see that this um, domain name is still receiving a backlink from Wikipedia from this page. So if you have a, a website about wine, this is an excellent domain name that you can purchase um, and redirect to your own website for that link equity. All right, so let's try another one. Uh, let's actually look for a high quality expired domain that still receives backlinks. So let's go to the filter and let's say you're into photography. Um, so we're going to look for domains that contain the word photography. Um, let's put Wikipedia back to zero, um, but go to the Majestic tab and fill in these values. Like we're looking for at least a 10 um, citation flow and a trust flow as well and apply the filter. All right, and as you can see, 46 domains um, have a value of citation flow and trust flow higher than 10, which is interesting. So let's see and filter on uh, the actual referring domains that they receive. All right, so we got a few interesting uh, ones here. So let's just check one of these. I can see that this one is registered, but there are some available as well, but I have the feeling that this is a good one. So let's check this one out. And if you Google for this domain, you can actually see that this photographer was pretty serious about his job. Um, he has some backlinks from, uh, from Flickr and from HDR websites and all kind of photography uh, related websites. So I think this is an excellent example that you can use for um, when you have a website that's also about photography. So you can redirect this domain to your own. But let's quickly check if that's true by putting in uh, his domain name into uh, hrefs. You can also do this uh, within SEMrush and SEMrush has a free trial so you can have a few uh, free searches. Um, but let's go to um, see if these backlinks are interesting. So we can see that it has 72 backlinks um, and the stats are okay. So let's actually go to the backlink tab. And here's when it gets really interesting because we can see that it receives uh, backlinks from Digital Photography School, which is a huge blog about photography with a DR of 81. So that's an excellent example. Let's actually look at it 
um, to see if it's of any use. But also all the other ba uh, backlinks that we can see are really um, like high quality from photography websites as well, from Flickr. So these are excellent ones. So let's see what this post was about. And it was about some examples of HDR photography. And if we go a bit down or we look in the source code, we can actually see that this image was linking to his website. So this is an excellent backlink. If you filter on DR, we can see what high quality websites were in there that are linking to this domain. Um, obviously Flickr.com, which is a really good thing. Um, but let's scroll a bit down to see what else we can find, whether to, to buy this one or not. We can see some tutorials, um, but what I think is also super interesting is that um, he did a couple of guest posts and even a podcast. So if we, for example, look at this website, we can see that this uh, guy, probably also a photographer, um, and this website is all about photography, um, recorded a podcast with Rob Hansen, which dropped his domain name. And here's the backlink. It's super relevant. It's within the photography um, uh, domain. So if you own a website, you can definitely pass on this link equity with all these proper backlinks from Flickr, um, from Digital Photography School. Uh, and this will definitely help increase your own website authority and therefore your visibility within search engines and therefore your traffic. Now, one final cool thing that you can do with this filter is that you can actually look for domains that still receive traffic or that still rank for particular keywords. Uh, and let's say you want to build a completely new website, you could also look for inspiration. So for example, let's remove photography um, as a filter and let's actually remove this as well and just click apply you will get millions of uh, domains. However, if we filter now on the traffic it receives, we can still see that there are a lot of domains that still receive traffic according to SEMrush, which is often pretty accurate. So you can look around and see if there's any domain uh, that you like or that you think, hey, I can do something with this. I can start a business around this topic, for example, within games or within photography or recipes. If, if anything comes to mind uh, when you're going and scrolling through this list, you can really find some cool golden nuggets. Um, the same applies for the amount of keywords that the expired domain is still ranking for. If you filter on that, you can see which ones are still doing pretty well. Um, and yeah, you can still see if th those are interesting enough. One tip that I do want to give you guys is if it's still ranking for a lot of keywords, make sure the CF and TF is at least above 10 and the domain pop at least above 20 or 15 in order to find the proper domains because there is a, there is a lot of spam out there. There are a lot of companies doing this, especially in Russia and China that like buy this bulk expired domains and redirect them to their site and let them expire again, etc., etc. So before you buy any garbage, make sure to apply those filters again uh, and make sure you really check whether all stats are like more or less in place and you can find some really cool golden nuggets in here. Now you can do all kinds of cool things with these filters, so make sure you check them out yourself as well. Um, for example, you can uh, set uh, a certain search volume. Um, so the word in the, the domain has to match a certain uh, search volume according to AdWords or let's say uh, you want a specific topic, um, then you can use the Majestic Topical Trust Flow and select uh, the topic that you're into. So for, for example, video games um, to find more relevant um, expired domains that are suitable for your, uh, your business. Um, and also make sure to check out all the other extensions as well as .com is just one example, but you can find many other good ones and interesting ones uh, that are listed in this list as well. All right, are you ready for the big stuff, for the actual golden nuggets? Because the stuff that I just showed you is nothing compared to what I'm going to show you now, which is the marketplace. Um, 
this marketplace basically integrates all kind of auctions from GoDaddy, Name.com, uh, Sidu, Flippa. Uh, there are so many that are super interesting and here you can really find some, some, some gems. And let me show you what I just found. Okay, let's go to, for example, GoDaddy expired domains and use some of the filters that I showed you before. So let's say uh, a backlink from Wikipedia um and yeah let's leave it like this all right so this this valuation is almost at 4k for inside the games that come i'm really curious to find out what the website is about uh, but moreover what kind of backlinks uh it receives so let's put the domain into a refs and let's go to backlinks holy shit we can see that it receives a lot of backlinks from all kind of wikipedia pages which are also pretty high authoritative ones like lacrosse and the wembley stadium and the winter olympic games so probably um, this website was all about the olympics um, and let's see what else we can find by filtering on dr and clustering the links uh, whoa, we can even see it has a backlink from the BBC, from the New York Times, uh, from the Independent. So this is this is crazy. This is a super high valuable domain name um, that still receives very, very high quality backlinks. So if you are into sports or anything related to the Olympics, this is definitely a backlink that you want to uh, acquire through the auction. So uh, like I said, the auction is up. I have no idea what it will sell for, but it's definitely worth it. Maybe buying it for 500 or maybe $1,000 is even worth it because you have so many high quality backlinks. Now, the last thing that you want to do when you see a domain like this is to check uh, if it's still up. No, we can see that it's not up anymore. Um, but what you also want to do is go to archive.org and look for this website so you, you can actually see what the website was about. Um, because archive has all the, the, it's basically the internet archive. They have all, basically every page stored and you can click on a date and view a screenshot. So let's do one for here in February. Um, but I can also see some peaks in 2012 when the Olympics uh, probably took place. So I would also want to see a screenshot of that. So the first one that we clicked, that was the most recent one, is a redirect, it seems, to a creative agency. So basically they thought they could benefit from this um, domain by pointing it to their own website. However, marketing Olympics don't really match. So I think they ended up um, uh, letting the domain expire because they didn't profit anything from it. And this is also the key takeaway of this video. If you want to purchase a domain name, purchase one that is super relevant to your topic as well. Um, otherwise, it won't benefit your website at all. So I think this creative agency purchased this domain name back in the days and it's now up for, for sale again. But here we can see what it looked like in 2012. And indeed, it was a website about the Olympics. Uh, very decent one, very nice, uh, very high quality topics and, and articles. And uh, as you can, can, can see from the backlinks, it was definitely a high potential one back in the days. Maybe not so much anymore because it's already expired for like eight years. But still, since the backlinks are still in place, it might be worth buying this domain name and redirecting it to your sports domain, your sports website or whatever it is that's related to, to this topic. Now let's go to my absolute favorite section, which is the GoDaddy Buy Now. Because um, these domains are set for a fixed price. So if you pay the price now, the domain is yours. Yes, you heard that right. So if we pay this amount right now, we can actually own the domain. There's no auction. It is yours if you pay this price. So let's look what we can find here. Um, let's have some filters in place again. Uh, and, but let's set the maximum price for around 500 and click apply. Now one that really stands out to me is bradley-cooper.org, this one. Uh, it has a lot of traffic, it still ranks for a lot of keywords. Uh, it's not that expensive actually, so let's check this one out. Let's see if it still exists. Yes, it's still live. It appears to be a fan website uh, with a lot of content about Bradley Cooper himself, obviously. Uh, but that's interesting. 
So let's see if this website still receives some interesting backlinks. So let's go to AREFs and put in bradleycooper.org. And what we can see here is that also according to AREFs, it's still ranking for uh, 85 keywords. So if we look at the keyword that it still ranks for, we can see that it even ranks for Bradley Cooper itself, some misspellings, but also some more long tail ones. So that's super interesting. However, if we go to the backlinks tab uh, and we filter on DR, so the, the highest uh, authority websites first, um, we can see a couple of very interesting things because it is getting a backlink from BuzzFeed. It is getting a backlink from Wikipedia. Um, and if you scroll down a bit and um, you, you cluster the links per domain, we can also see that it still receives a backlink from cleveland.com, which is here. So that's super interesting because this is a very high authority website. Um, so here are some ideas. You can either set this website up yourself um, and make some maybe AdSense money out of it, or you can uh, flip the website by setting it up, buying this domain, and maybe flip it for like two times the value. Let's see if we can find some additional golden nuggets. Um, we've already looked at Bradley Cooper, um, and I have it filtered on traffic because I think traffic is a really important metric because if the domain is still receiving traffic, uh, it means that it's still relevant in Google's opinion, uh, and therefore really easy to continue their ranks and to continue receiving traffic. Um, so I can see a really interesting one here, which is called drink101.com. Let's actually see if it's still up. Uh, yes, it is. It looks like some drinking game website, which is quite fun. Um, but we can also see that the maintenance of this website is not done really properly, but still it has some nice content on it. But let's actually go to AREFs and see what kind of backlinks it receives and whether it still receives traffic. And we can see that it's still ranking for over 200 keywords and it's still getting traffic, so that's interesting. So if we can go um, to the keywords, we can actually see all the kinds of keywords that it's still ranking for in the US in this case. And you can also see what the URLs were back in the days, which were pretty good. Um, and this is, this is pretty interesting. Um, so let's actually see if it receives some proper backlinks. And if we filter on backlinks, we can see that it receives a novel link, but a link from Wikihow, which is interesting. And if we scroll a bit through this list, we can actually see that it has some really nice uh, backlinks pointing to it. But also the reason that I show you this example is because it's so easy to uh, revamp this website, put the games up again, um, uh, revamp the content a little bit, um, and you can easily monetize this with, let's say, AdSense or maybe some affiliate offers to the drinking games or the, the cups that you need to, to play beer pong, for example. Um, so this is also a really nice way to spot some opportunities. Although it is a bit uh, expensive, you are buying uh, an, an existing domain. It's a really nice domain, by the way. It's really short and catchy, uh, and it still receives traffic. You already have ranking, so if you start working on it right now, you can easily build that out again like it was. So super interesting one. All right, so on a final note, uh, make sure to play around with the values and the filters. So for example, if I would filter on traffic, which I believe is one of the most important uh, metrics because this means that it's still relevant in Google's opinion because it still receives traffic for a lot of keywords. So in this case, if we do this, we can actually see learnspanishtoday.com. Very interesting. Um, it has been put up for auction. It has um, also received quite a few bits. So it is a bit expensive, but let's actually check um, if this is any interesting auction that you want to participate in. And as we can see, this is super interesting. Um, it's still ranking for over 4,000 keywords and receiving almost 3K in traffic. So let's, let's go to the keywords. Let's see if they make any sense. Yes, they do. They had a lot of Spanish to English and a lot of uh, stuff that's related to learning uh, Spanish. So it's not bullshit, it's super relevant. And uh, this, this is also a super interesting and fun way to find domains and websites that are still interesting uh, to purchase. 
So here we can see the backlinks, so we can go through it again and see if there's any uh, uh, nice ones in here. So I can already see WikiHow, and although it's a nofollow, it's a really nice and diverse and good uh, backlink profile. It has some backlinks from, you know, genuine websites. It's not like kind of uh, Russian or, or Chinese uh, spam that we often encounter if we look at these metrics. So super interesting one as well. So the last thing I would like to mention is when you purchase an expired domain, um, what you usually do is you 301 redirect the expired domain to your own website in order to pass on the link equity that will increase your Google rankings. Um, so that means that if you uh, would have purchased a dog related website, any of the, the pages that existed will be redirected to your homepage. However, in some cases, it is better to redirect on a one-to-one -one basis. So this means that from the expired website, um, you redirect the pages on a one-to-one -one basis because this is more relevant and better for the user experience, um, but also more relevant for the backlinks that those pages received in the past. So, um, so for example, with this, this Drink 101 website, what we can see here is that it's still ranking for a lot of keywords uh, and their corresponding URLs. So you might want to export this and to make sure that you um, 301 redirect everything on a one-to-one -one basis as, as much as possible. Or if you would purchase this domain, you might want to change the URLs because as you can see, they have all uh, the dates in them, uh, but still make sure that you redirect them properly on a one-to-one -one basis in order to keep the link equity, keep the relevancy and keep the existing rankings um, that Google rewarded you for. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments which expired domain you purchased. Peace.